Hey, it's Tim here with Expert Power Wash. Today I'm working on some plate mounted pumps. We've made a few changes and I just wanted to show you these few couple little updates that we've made. We're constantly striving to make these things better and better. Uh, I think you'll like what you see. Let's take a look at these things. All right, we're back here at the bench. I got a couple five threes in production there and then another seven here. Uh, one of the major changes that we've recently made is we've turned the pumps upside down. Uh, Remco says you can run them either way, but we're going to try this and see if we can get a little bit more life out of these. And then something that we do a little bit different than what your typical home builder would do is we use 100% USA marine grade wiring. This is 10 gauge stuff. We're not using the, um, let's see if I can get a look here. This stuff coming out of the pump, this is 12 gauge. We're upsizing at the 10 gauge to make sure that we're not getting any loss of uh, power as we're running longer runs of wire. Uh, these are gonna come stock with about six feet of wiring. If you order just the plate mounted uh, pump system, these are going to come standard on our pressure washing skids that we build. But I wanted to walk you through and just kind of update you on a few things that we've done different. Uh, all of our pumps are now gonna be quick connect. So you can see right here, a bar will go in here. So if you need to switch this pump off, uh, right away, you can just disconnect it there and then quickly do a, a change out. Another thing that we're doing here, we're using uh, flange nuts instead of the nylon lock nuts. Uh, we were finding that the nylon nuts were taking a long time to get these off. Once these, this, this stays pretty stout on here, but once you get it loosened up beyond uh, the pressure that the rubber's up against it, these come off real easy. So you can really swap one of these out in less than five minutes is what the goal is. Uh, that's just gonna help you to be more efficient out in the field. So that was another change that we've made. And then probably the biggest change that we've made on these pumps is Remco has come out with a dual control pump. I'll show you here, getting this upside down, that you have a closer look at this. So this is a dual control. You can see it eliminates pump cycling. So it has an internal bypass as well as the pressure switch. Uh, these just, they run a lot better, a lot smoother. Thus the name smooth flow pumps. But you can see here where they have filled in the pressure switch adjustment. So that is all factory set now. Uh, they don't want anybody messing with that unless you run across a, a situation to where it becomes out of adjustment. You can pull the, uh, the rubber that they've filled in there and, and make that adjustment just like the old ones. But these have been filled in. So 100% factory, uh, tested, ready to go, quick connects, dual control, internal bypass. Uh, you have Viton seals in these. So this is the new upgraded Remco pump that will be on all of our builds as well as the uh, plate mounted pump systems. We have upgraded and are no longer going to be carrying just the regular standard uh, Remco pumps. These are gonna be the only ones that we uh, put on our systems and the plate mounted pumps. We're not even gonna sell the other ones in our store anymore. So moving on over here, this is a 10 gauge USA made fuse holder here. So this is the full size one. And then the fuses, I got it right here. This is a USA made authentic busman fuse. So we're not using any of the Chinese stuff. So everything that we put into these things, we want to be top of the line the highest grade quality. We're using dielectric grease with our connections, the SAE plugs. See over here, this is our heavy duty marine grade switch. This is about as, as the best as it gets right here. So that's going on all of our plate mounted pumps. Here's our, our SAE plugs, super thick 10 gauge. And I'll show you here. If you've seen some of our older videos, this is a completely encapsulated um, coating here. This is waterproof, chem proof. And then inside there, uh, this is one that's still in production. Show you, I'll show you. This is a pure copper tin plated um, butt connector there. So this is the highest grade quality. This is a 3M high heat. So these cost us a, a couple bucks more to order these types of connections, but they're real high quality. They work really well. So that's going to be on all of our plate mounted pumps as well as our skids. So we've kind of went through everything, every part of this build. We might be a little bit obsessive about it, but we want these things to last for you guys out there in the field. 
and we thought it was very important to kind of analyze these things and go through every square inch of this stuff and just make sure that it's the, the best quality, top of the line, all the failure points and break points have all been solved. Uh, here is our heat shrink. What's interesting about this, this is the super thick stuff. This is 3M and then inside, you can hardly see where it's shiny, but this actually has a gluing uh, internal part to it. So as you heat it up, it's gonna shrink as well as glue. That's gonna keep the, the wire fittings uh, sealed up, watertight, chem tight. Here's another one, this is a black one. I just pulled these out, but yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of at the bench what we do with these things and what all goes into them and that it's not just a thrown together pump on a plate. These are all CNC made. We get these made locally. Everything's pre-drilled. You got a mounting system here. We sell the mounting brackets to where you can mount the, the mixer and the pump back to back. Again, all that stuff comes with our skids. Take a look at our other videos. We have some stuff out there, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about our plate mounted pump systems or 12 volt pumps, throw it down there in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to all of you guys, but uh, I'll load this up to the website as well as uh, YouTube platforms and a couple other platforms to where this information can get out to you guys. Have a great day. See you in another video.